Democrats are lining up for a chance to challenge Congressman Rodney Davis before the new district map comes out. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield with the latest. Mark, the primary isn't for another 10 months, but a Democrat with powerful allies just jumped into the race. Jennifer, labor activist Nikki Budzinski was a senior advisor to Governor Pritzker and a chief of staff in President Biden's budget office. Now she's launching a campaign to challenge Congressman Rodney Davis, who wants to use his perch in Congress to work on infrastructure and union jobs. I would like to be chairman of transportation and infrastructure in Washington, D.C. Republican Rodney Davis still hopes for a political future in Congress, but he's waiting to see who might run against him. I'll know what I want to do in the future based upon what that battlefield looks like. And which voters might live in that new district. Could those combination of factors push him to run for governor? It's been pretty clear to me over the last few months that there are a lot of people in Illinois that want me to remain in public service. So we'll make that decision once those maps come out. Davis is already drawing challengers before those maps come out. Hi, everyone. I'm Nikki Budzinski. Peoria native Nikki Budzinski left a role as a senior advisor to Governor Pritzker to take a job in President Biden's budget. I lost IFB, worked closely with labor unions to craft and pass the $15 minimum wage, Governor Pritzker's first milestone achievement in office. In Illinois, the middle class is slipping away, and Rodney Davis isn't doing enough to protect Illinois' working families. Davis also touts his support from labor, arguing Democrats put their jobs at risk. President Biden, in one of his first executive orders, shut down the Keystone Pipeline project it put many blue-collar workers out of a job. And with Democrats pushing for cleaner energy policies in Springfield and D.C., Davis sees an opening to welcome more trade workers into the GOP. Blue-collar worker is coming to the Republican Party in droves. And we've got to recognize that as Republicans, and we've got to continue to push the policies of common sense. Depending on how Democrats draw those new district lines, it could tilt as a more Democratic district. Right now, it's about plus three Republican in the breakdown, considered a toss-up nationwide. Democrat David Palmer from Champaign, a former Iowa basketball player, also running in that same seat. Today, he told me he didn't know Nikki lived in the district. She just moved back here last month from Washington, D.C. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCI3, your local news leader. Mark, thank you.